Now second problem. Consider the following distribution of daily wages of 50 workers of a factory. In one factory 50 workers are there. Their daily wages given in the table. Then daily wages in rupees 200 to 250 12 members. 250 to 300 14 members. 300 to 350 8 members, 350 to 400 6, 6 members, 400 to 450 10 members. Find the mean daily wage of the workers of the factory by using an appropriate method. Here we have to take our own method. Which, which method? From 3 methods you can take any method. But here which method we have to take? Means we have to take step deviation method or assumed mean method because the quantities are large quantities 200 250 300 that's like that then we can take step deviation method or assumed mean method first we will go for assumed mean method how to do assumed mean method What is the formula for that? Arithmetic mean is equal to A plus sigma F D by sigma F. First we have to take assumed mean. For that first we have to find out what is the class mark. What are the class intervals here? 200 to 250, 250 to 300, 300 to 350, 350 to 400, 400 to 450. These are the class intervals. Then what is the class mark? Middle value of class mark. That means average of upper boundary and lower boundary. Now here 200 plus 250 is equal 450 by 2 is equal 225. What is the class mark here? 225. What is the x? 225. Next 250 and 300. 275. Here no need to do for second one. Here what is the class interval difference? 50. Then if you add 50 you will get continuation class marks. 225 plus 50 275. Again 50 325. Again 50 375. Again 50 425. Then first one if you do then remaining we have to add the difference of those class interval. That is called the height of the class. Then what is the height of the class? 50. Then you have to add the 50 to first one. Then you will get second one. For, for second one if you add 50 you will get third class mark. Fourth class mark, third plus 50. Fifth class mark, fourth plus 50. Like that. Next, D means deviations. What is the formula for deviation? X minus A. What is A? We have to assume. Now, 325 we have to take as a A. Means assume to mean. Here, how many class intervals are there? 5 class intervals. Then we can take middle one. What is the middle of that? 325 we have to take assume to mean. Now, we got A. Next, what we have to find out? D. How to find out D? D, what is the formula? X minus A. 225 minus 225 minus 325 means minus 100. 275 minus 325 minus 50. 325 minus 325, 0. 375 minus 325, 50. 425 minus 325, 100. Now, always assumed mean deviation should be 0. Must be 0. Then, above the deviations, all minus values. Below the 0, we will get deviations positive. Then, 0 above deviations are negative. 0 below deviations are positive. Now, next FD we want. FD means what? Frequency into deviation. 12 into 100 minus 1200. 14 into 50. 700 minus 700. 0 into 8. 0. 650 is 300. 
टेन हंड्रेड आर थाउजेंड दीज आर द एफ डेज नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट सिग्मा एफ डे सिग्मा एफ डे में सम ऑफ एफ डेज Now, first we have to add negative. How much we will get? Minus nineteen hundred. Here positive plus thirteen hundred. Then minus nineteen hundred plus thirteen hundred is equal to minus six hundred. What is the F D sigma F D? Minus six hundred. Next, what we want? Sigma F. Sigma F means all frequencies. Total frequency is fifty. Now we got a value sigma f d sigma f. Then we can substitute now. A is equal to three twenty five. Sigma f d is equal to minus six hundred. Sigma f is equal to fifty. Now we got all the values that we have to substitute in this formula. X bar is equal to three twenty five plus minus six hundred by fifty. Here first we have to do the division, then we have to add it to three twenty five. Then fifty how many times goes? Twelve times goes. Plus into minus minus three twenty five minus twelve. What is the mean? Uh, mean <coughs> daily wages of one person three thirteen rupees. Mean daily wage is equal to three thirteen rupees. Now here, how to find out mean by assumed mean method? By assumed mean method. Assumed mean method. What is the formula? A plus sigma f d by sigma f. What is that? What is d? D means deviation. What is the formula for deviation? X minus a. What is a? A is we have to assume the from from class mark. Then here five intervals given. Then middle one we can take as a assumed mean. What is that? Three twenty five assumed mean. Then how to find out deviations? X minus a. X means what? Class marks. Class marks means what? Average of lower boundary and upper boundary. Means two hundred plus two fifty by two. Two fifty plus three hundred by two. Three hundred plus three fifty by two. Three fifty plus four hundred by two. Four hundred plus four fifty by two. These are the class marks. Then deviations means x minus a. Two twenty five minus three twenty five, two seventy five minus three twenty five, like that. Then above deviations are zero, above deviations are negative, below zero deviations are positive. Then next step what F D? F D means what? Frequency into deviation. Twelve into hundred, fourteen into fifty, eight into zero, six into fifty, ten into hundred. Then if you add negative and positive values, you will get. <coughs> Sigma F D. How much? Minus six hundred. Then you have to substitute those values in that. Next is sigma F. Sigma F means what? Total frequencies. Sigma F is equal to total frequencies. Then if you simplify, you will get the mean daily wage three hundred and thirteen rupees per person. <coughs> Now same question. How to find out by step deviation method? How to find out mean <coughs> daily wage per person? By step deviation method, what is the formula for step deviation? Arithmetic mean is equal to a plus sigma f u by sigma f into h. Here, up to deviation same as in the previous problem we learnt uh, up to. <clears throat> in that up to deviations we can take same as it is. After that it will change. Now, class interval number of workers. Class mark deviations up to that as it is. Now u is equal to d by h. What is the h? H is equal to 
height of class interval height of <coughs> class interval what is the height of class interval 50 means 250 minus 200 is equal 50 300 minus 250 50 350 minus 300 50 400 minus 350 that is the height of class interval h is equal to 50 then how to find out to u u means d by h what is the d here minus 100 by 50 <coughs> minus 100 by 50 is equal to minus 2 next minus 50 by 50 Minus 1, 0, 1, 2. This deviation, sorry, this u value always you will get 1, 2, 3, 4 only. <coughs> 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then above 0, negative, below 0, positive numbers you will get. Next, f u. f u means what? Frequency into u. Then 22s are 24. Minus 24. 14 ones are 14 minus 14, 0 into 8, 0, 6 ones are 6, 10 twos are 20. Then we have to do <coughs> negative values minus 36, positive values 26. Now sigma f u is equal to minus 36 plus, sorry, 38 minus 38 plus 26 is equal to minus 12. What is the sigma f u? Minus 12. Now, what is the assumed mean? A is equal to 325. Sigma f u is equal to minus 12. Sigma f is equal to 15. H is equal to 50. All values we got it. Now, mean is equal to 325 plus minus 12 by 50 into 50. First we have to do this simplification then we have to add to 325. Now 50, 50 will cancel. Now 325 minus 12 is equal to 330. What is the average, uh, average uh, daily waste? 313 per person. Now how to find a step deviation method? What are the columns? Class interval, frequency, class mark, deviations D, U is equal to D by H, F into U. These are the columns. Now, what is class mark? Average of lower boundary and upper boundary. What is the deviations? X minus A. A means assumed mean. We have to take in the class mark middle one. Otherwise, highest frequency. Suppose 6 intervals or 8 intervals are there. Then for that we can't take middle one. Then which middle two uh, class intervals, which frequency is more? That class mark we have to take. <clears throat> Next, deviations x minus a, mu is, uh, u is equal to d by h, then f into u. These are the columns. Now, what is the formula? a plus sigma f u by sigma f into h. Now, mean is equal to 325 plus minus 12 by 50 into 50. Then, first we have to do the simplification of bracket, then add that to 325. Now, plus into minus, minus 12 you got. Then, 313 rupees average daily wage per person.